Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial video. Today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on what I like to think is one of the most satisfying machines in Minecraft. Now the whole idea is that the items float up, they go over, they go down, and repeat. And that's it. That's the whole... That's the whole machine. I just find it personally satisfying, and you could also technically use this for actual item transport, however... Did it just... Did it just break? Excuse me, items. Let's just drop those back in there. But anyways, you could technically use it for item transport, and I just think it's really nice to look at, and I will be giving a tutorial now, and also I forgot to turn off daylight cycle. Good job me, but anyways, guys... Let's get straight into the tutorial. Now, to build this machine, you will need as much glass as you can get, because you'll need a lot of glass to build all the tubes. You'll need as much ice as you want to make it move quickly, as much water as you can get, and as many hoppers as you want. These are all your choice of how many you have, but the more, the better, and the bigger machine you can make. So let's get all those for now. And then there's also the required, is four redstone dust, one redstone comparator, one lever, or really any power source, one dropper, one sign, and or more technically if you're going to use a lot of water, and then all the items you want to flow through your machine. So let's just take all those out, and I'm not giving an area for the build because you can really expand it in any direction you want, and I'll explain that as I'm building it. So let's get into the actual building of the machine. To start building this machine, you're going to want to dig underground in a shape like this in a 2x2 two two hole. Only go two blocks deep because you don't want to go too deep. Place a comparator here, three redstone here, hit the comparator, and then once you've got this set up, dig two blocks down behind the comparator, place your lever and power it. Now as you can see, this redstone dust should be flashing, flashing really fast, and then you'll just build one out this direction and place your dropper in on that block. So now you should be able to hear it's ticking. I've turned it down in-game, and now what you can do is just simply cover all this up because that's the redstone that you won't need to see. Now we're going to build the actual pipe that transports the items. Simply build a sort of plus shape above the dropper and expand it upwards. If you want, you can also add corners like I did over there, but they're actually unnecessary. You just need blocks around like this, and then blocks filling the middle too. Now, once you've decided how high you want it to go, we're going to make our machine that we're building this high. And then what you're going to want to do is put the walls up on this side by one and then build up on top by one, too. So that's the top of your machine. And now build as many blocks as you want in this direction. We're going to do eight for example purposes and then build it like a directional sideways pipe just like this. As you can see, very nice, very simple, and now you've got a pipe, so break this block above here, place the water in, and then replace that glass. Now, build out here one, and not on the bottom block, but on all the sides, and then put a sign, if your water, if you're going less than eight, you're going to need to put your sign right on that block. Now after that, just build your pipe down, but this time, don't put glass in the middle. That's very important, or else your machine will not work and they'll just get all stuck up there. So now, as you can see, this pipe is pretty much built already, and the last thing that you need to do is add the hoppers. So what you're going to do is break this block, and this block, and this block, and then dig like a little trench here, as you can see, just to get straight going into the dropper, and then sneak and place the hoppers going from the dropper to the center of this pipe here. Now, this is the important part, because if you want... You can, you can cover up the hoppers like this, and that's just your choice to how you cover up the hoppers, but what you need to do is fill this hopper right here with your items, and place that before it's too late. So, now, you just built your machine. As you can see, the items go up. It doesn't matter how tall you made this, they will always go up, and if you want the items to go faster, as you can see mine are going pretty slow, that's where the ice comes in. You just put the ice here and go all the way across with the ice. Now, I've noticed it sometimes causes some issues, and just be careful that, like, if you use the ice, no, it might not work as flawlessly. And also, sometimes items sneak out. So, 
let's just put these items back in the machine right here. And then there you go, guys. That's how you build a really satisfying looking machine in Minecraft. Now, you could, of course, also use this for very practical purposes, like transporting items around a giant farm area or moving items from place to place. It's a very useful machine, but I'm just using it in a fun example. It's something that you can do to create a satisfying loop. So for now, guys, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Sure.